Hi, I'm Lucy Foley and I'm the author of The Hunting Party, uh, which is a murder mystery set in the Scottish Highlands. It's about a group of old friends who travel up to a very remote estate to celebrate New Year's Eve. At first it's all fun and games, reminiscing about times past, partying, drinking champagne, but gradually old secrets rise to the surface and big resentments come out, to the extent that on the morning of New Year's Day, in the heaviest snowfall the estate has seen in decades, a broken body is found in the snow. Who done it? So I'm here in Waterstones Piccadilly uh, to show you some of my favourite reads and also books that in some way inspired the writing of The Hunting Party. First up is Kate Atkinson, uh, Case Histories. I am a huge Kate Atkinson fan and I think I've read everything she's ever written um, and I particularly love her Jackson Brady crime series. I think one of the criticisms of crime fiction or perhaps one of the assumptions that people make is that it's plot heavy at the expense of character and that character can kind of fade into the background. That is emphatically not the case with Case Histories. Um, Kate Atkinson is brilliant at character. Her characters are fallible, lovable, three-dimensional um, and you get a very real sense of the human impact of the crime um, in, the, in this book. This is just wonderful. And I know her new book is coming out this year, um, Big Sky, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so the next book that I'm gonna talk about is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Um, I could really talk about any of Agatha Christie's books, but I think for me, this is Christie at her absolute best, at the peak of her powers. There is no fat whatsoever on this book. And I think what I also like about it um, is the fact that there is no sleuth, which makes it a much less sort of cozy read. I think, to be honest, I think the um, uh, image of Agatha Christie as a cosy crime writer is ridiculous because when you think about it, her books are about what makes normal people kill. And I think that's kind of the much more terrifying premise, um, but never more so than in this book. Um, you have uh, a cast of relatively upstanding members of society and one by one, um, their dark secrets are brought to the surface um, and they are killed off. It's just Fabulous. Okay, the third book that I'm going to talk to you about is Patricia Highsmith, um, Plotting and Writing Suspense Fiction. Um, I love Patricia Highsmith's novels, but I found this book incredibly useful when I was writing The Hunting Party. Um, it is, it's so many things. It's a how-to guide. It's also a bit of memoir. Um, Patricia Highsmith is incredibly uh, generous with her advice to budding authors um, and also generous with her stories of her own failures. And she gives tips on when to know when to kind of drop an idea, when it's just stagnant and it's not working, and when to kind of really um, work at it and kind of get the best you can out of it. And I think, to be honest, it's useful for writing any sort of fiction. This is probably one of the best books on the subject I've read.